Welcome back everyone, today I got a great build for you. I'm trying to remodel my old healing nade build with Heart of Most Light on Titan. This build, I kind of got to work really well in some situations, but it's very ad dependent, and it's not really a boss DPS strategy like it used to be. This build just worked absolutely amazing to keep my teammates healed and me healed, but definitely didn't feel as spammy as it used to because the Heart of Most Light got a huge hit, and now Bastion got a, such a huge hit that I can't even use it anymore. It got like doubled in length, and now you can barely get it even with all the mods that I'm using to get my barricade back. So we're using the normal mini barricade to spam Bomber with a bunch of other things giving us the barricade back, so hopefully we can start the cycle back up. It's definitely not perfect, but this is close to perfect at the moment because of how many nerfs hit this build you can still heal your teammates really well but getting over shields is extremely hard and there's a lot less survivability on this even though you have a lot of healing you just don't have a damage reduction from the over shields which is just the biggest problem at the moment i don't know if i can make any more changes to this build i definitely can make some small tweaks but it's very hard to get this build down and I might try to make one in the future for GMs, but it's definitely getting harder because of all the huge nerfs. But it just meant a lot that you guys stopped by, and I really ha am so happy that you guys helped me get to a thousand. And I'm gonna keep grinding and keep making videos. This has just been such a great experience for me to make these videos for you. So thank you for watching, and it would mean so much to you guys if you guys left a subscribe and a like. And let's get on to the rest of the build. Here you go, guys. Okay guys, for this build, I'm starting out with the Heart of Most Light. This got pretty hardly nerfed, pretty, it got hit pretty hard, so I'm running a bunch of stuff to try to equalize the nerf. Um, I'm running Focusing Strike and Bolstering with Firepower. So Bolstering and the focus, um, Focusing Strike is going to give us more Barricade Energy, and then we're also using Utility Kickstarters, two of them, with Bomber. So Utility Kickstarters... And Focusing Strike are going to be giving us all that barricade back because um, Heart of Most Lights doesn't really buff the barricade that much anymore. And you really need some help with that. I'm also running Bomber, so whenever I put it down I get a little bit of grenade energy. So we can go back and forth with our grenade and barricade, hopefully. This has been severely nerfed, so it's not as good. But I'm definitely trying to break through with some of these mods. With Firepower, we're going to get some Orbs of Power to get some more grenade and... Barricade energy from these two innovation and insulation. Then we're also running void weapon surge. This isn't needed, but because I wanted to use repulsive brace demolitionist weapon, this doesn't have a damage perk in like harder content and stuff like 45 under, which we are in in this one. It makes it much harder to get killed, so we really need the damage buff, which is like a 17%. I'm, I'm running some concussive dampeners, void and solar resistance. And I'm running Ashes to Assets in Void Siphon, just in case we can get a double kill off our weapons. Um, I was actually using this in the um, Day 1 raid as well. I used this for the um, the Orbital, the orbital um, Planet with first boss. This really helped with being able to kill the, um, the lieutenants and get a bunch of ad kills in the beginning i was running the bottom plates and it's just absolutely made it so much easier i put this build on and it was way better than the last build because i just had constant abilities to use you can really get your abilities going fast though when you have um when you throw your shield and you get a sh over shield from it because we're using bastion here or we're using offensive bulwark so we get the extra grenade from it we're also running Control Demolitionist, so we can get our healing whenever we hit a Void ability. These have a really cool interaction that makes your Void melee get like volatile rounds and stuff. It's really great, because you're going to start meleeing stuff when you have an overshield. But sadly, the barrack, the shield throw doesn't really give you that much shield, so you only might only have a few punches before you lose the shield. But it just worked out really well. Because we're using Volatile, I am running Echo of Seization, which makes us spawn Void Breaches when we get kills with our Volatile. This will also give us Devour when we pick him up, and that will really help us out in some situations because we get to keep getting that grenade energy. We get 10%, which really helps us build after all the nerfs. This will also allow us to get a little bit more Barricade energy from the Void Breaches. I like running Volatile Round, and it gives you the extra strength, and when we do Volatile Round damage, it gives us health back because we're using 
a control demolition is. Last year I'm running Echo of Vil Vigilance, which you can change this out for, but I thought it was very nice when you got low health so we could get more barricade. And then with the barricade we can throw more grenades. We're using the scatter grenades because they have a 1 minute and 45 cooldown. These are absolutely nutty now and really create volatiles very well. Probably second to um, Vortex, but Vortex cooldown is a little bit too long for me at the moment. We're running mini barricade with Rally. So we get faster cooldowns. This build might be one of the only ones we're not using the Bastion, but Bastion's been nerfed so hard. This used to be like a minute and 20 or a minute at some point. I think it might have been a minute. And now it got nerfed all the way to 1 minute and 40 seconds. Plus the how resilience now only is like 80 of it, the old settings. So you can't even get close to it. It's so long. Even with all these mods I was using, I could not get my barricade fast enough. It was so slow and I just couldn't deal with it. And I really wanted to use control demolitionist for those health gains. It meant a lot that you guys stopped by. And I got some great 45 under gameplay in the new exotic mission for the glaive thank you for watching and let's get on to the build here you go guys get me out of here kill a stupid sniper he just shot me through that Kidding me? There's two snipers shooting at me. This is actually good gameplay for my video, though. See, I, I'm ha really happy they increased the ad density because making videos before, literally, Master Catch Crash was our best thing. Yeah? That was, you remember that? Do you remember? Look how insane that is. This is gonna be a, like a GM like subclass. Yes. I can already see it. I'm making. I gotta make a build on it. This is pending. The problem is, so I made a video on. I made a video for it. I literally the the boots are so, look so bad. I can't. They they're shaped so weird that I literally am struggling to make cut them out for a thumbnail. It's like so hard to because of how weirdly they're shaped. I gotta look at other people's videos and see how they did it. See if they left like parts of it on. This thing, this is the worst part though. There's not really a lot of enemies, like uh, more end game style things. More end game? What do you mean this is end game? This game's actually, this is, makes this game so, I'm actually having so much fun right now because yeah, this just, is so much there's fun. so many ads that it, the game's actually fun. I hate this stupid Everything boss. Kills you. Bosses are really boring to fight. I don't know why. They're just so boring. I think it's because you're not like having to move around like insanely fast. It's like, you can't outplay them with grenade launchers and stuff. Oh my god. That's a lot of enemies. You know what? I'm going to put on LMG. This guy has the right idea. He's a meta user. That actually is a really good idea. Just get the total ad clear. Bounce! Oh, the wall bounce! I just bounced it off the wall behind me, and the grenade came back and hit him. That's meta. Let me pull one from collections. I got that depth one from the um, the what's it called? The raid, the the vex results. Yeah, too. Who the hell is calling me now? Probably Bobby. Dale Radish. Good yes. Hello. I'm mid exotic mission right now. 50 level, 45 levels under. Oh my gosh, does that make you big? It does actually, yeah. It's actually really fun because there's so many ads. That doesn't make you small? No. Oh, get ready, there's so many Good coming boy, through. Nice. You man and me are grinding. I'm blind to me, man. Jesus, this is the most ads I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is such a good mission. They should make this a GM, dude. This would be fun. Yo, they, they, what? this is kind of a GM. We're, we're a GM. It's basically a GM right now. I'll, I'll, I'll get, like, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. I guess got we mean even got the we got the glaive now. Was the, there another glaive? Yeah, no, I'm talking about I got the void glaive. There's a new one, the secret one I got, yeah. Both yeah. of them both of them are really good glaives. For for they, endgame they content. Do. I think, I think the that's... what? Like the, the heavy one? Isn't that like the highest DPS? No, it's it's it? it's not. It's it's only with the boot. It's only with the arms on. It's really good. The yeah, arm they increases its damage by three times. So... Yeah, but here's the thing. That's all you need. You just need to put the armor on. Yeah. And then have but the blade. Some races nothing. don't have that though. Yeah, Blackstone has it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blacks don't have. Well, that's gonna like fry us, dude. But who doesn't have a Titan? Not everyone has a Titan. Some people don't want to use Titan. But like you have three. What? What's what I don't understand about this? It, it, it'll let you make three warlocks. Yeah, I, I used to run. I used to have two hunters for um. Bubble pop. So I could get extra. So I could get extra levels on the um. Um, for I could get extra four, um, four pinnacles. Like natively on my hard run. I guess Screaming yeah. Oh yeah. Makes sense. Now Wait, what, what? What hotel are you? Are you? You're not in a Marriott, are you? No, I'm in. Uh, Be careful. Uh, it's like a local. Almost hotel done here. this. Oh. The chains are right there because they always have Wi-Fi. You get enough points. You get enough points for them. Holy shit! Like, I've always had access to a wired connection. This is like the cheapest one I can oh. find. Now it's up to get level. Like for one week here, it's three hundred sixty dollars. That's pretty cheap. Yeah. Because at the Hampton, like I called, I called some like nicer hotels that are further in. Just come back, Cooper. And, the, and I asked the wyvern uh, like right next to you. And like, how, much, uh, how much would be for a week? Yeah. You know what they told me? How much? They're yeah. like, oh yeah, se seven seven days. Uh, you're looking at one thousand thirty six dollars. <laughs> I'm just like, you fucking kidding. I'm surprised it's not like seven hundred. You can get normally get a hundred dollar hotel pretty pretty well. Hundred dollars for a night. Night. That's pretty. That's like. Well, no, yeah. Anywhere. Go back. Yeah, that's still expensive. Yeah. I know, but it's less expensive than a thousand. It, yeah, but I'm not. I don't even want to spend that much because yeah, like, I, I know. know I'm moving into my new place. Soon. Yeah. You can get and a good one for eighty dollars. I need mean, the security deposit. Plus the first month's rent is already putting me at. Uh, Dude, imagine a hundred going through this. Yeah, imagine being a hundred. Actually, no, the strand hunter would be good for 